right, we just had a good lunch. Almost fell asleep in the shuttle. Now we're on Idaho Peak, getting ready to drop in for a little half lap, and then we're going to do a big lap. It's an old trail. It's been around for a long time. Warm breaks right up. Oh wow, that's a hell of a burn. Whoa, Helmet took that one. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of uh, hanging hazards. Whoa. You get going. Oh! <laughs> Didn't quite. <laughs> Just a perfect shitty tree right there. Oh, <laughs> danger zone. <laughs> junk involved on that one. <sighs> that one was tough. Oh! I rubbed my ass on my back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man, these little branches are dangling down. The helmet is getting popped. Just a rugged gem. Ooh, okay. I'd like another attempt at that. <laughs> a top layer of sweetness. Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> Either or. It's been burned in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is my favorite type of terrain. everything clanking and banging. A little splitsy. Remnants of old silver mining. Just leave it here. It'll decompose. <laughs> Give it a million years. Oh, okay. Heave ho! Yep. 
Yep. Very happy to do the rope. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Matt had mentioned cable car a few times, but that's not exactly what I had in mind. That was sweet. I guess, I don't know what I was thinking it would be. Very family friendly trail. We saw all types of ages and sizes of people, all kinds of different bikes coming and going on the, the cable car. Super cool. Cause there's actually some uh, nice stuff right here. There's some exposure, some stuff that, you know, you want to play around with. <laughs> something for everybody hello gateway drug need more stuff like this to get people's first legs on a bike and just feeling stuff out getting worn out that first time future shredders of america okay of canada rock and roll have a stop at the cafe after a very european style trail have a little European style break. Three gremlins for the price of one. There's two of them. I think there's another one in the back. Idaho Peak. We're headed to the water. Great. We'll see you on the beach in Silverton. You betcha. But first we ride. Oh. There are a couple guys climbing up and they've already dropped in. Matt thinks they probably took five hours from the bottom. But they're really strong riders too. So, hey, maybe four. Yeah. A little exposed. <laughs> Not much of an entry. Walking. Oh. <laughs> Hey. Serious business. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Quite the adventure. Five days of it. Oh, a branch caught me on the arm. Got my shirt. Rugged backcountry. <laughs> On the edge. A little more line of sight, a little wider. <laughs> Freight train coming. Oh, that was over way too quick. <laughs> it really was. Whenever one of these trips comes to an end, I always reflect on how grateful I am 
that you guys like what I'm doing and that you make it possible and that there's all these great people out there that will let me come along on their trips like Matt and show them off and show that there's a million possibilities out in the world to get off your ass and go go look for them. I do this as a job and it's a shitload of work and I love it. And I wouldn't have it any other way. And somehow I'm able to make a living doing it. But really my currency, the thing that fires me up the most is getting emails and comments every friggin' day from people that are like, hey man, you really inspired me to get out and ride. I've lost weight, I've quit smoking, I've changed my habits because of you. And friggin', you don't know how much that means to me. To make a real impact on the world versus, you know, designing websites that really were of no consequence to anyone. It's it's special. It's magic, man. I'm, it never gets old and I'll keep riding if you guys keep watching. Did anyone catch when my cap came off of my suspension fork? I had it loose because the thing gets on so tight you can't un untighten it. So I'll have to review the tape and see where it came off. I'm also really grateful when these trips end that my bike is in one piece and that I'm in one piece. It's something I always think about. You have to push your comfort zone to get better on the bike or get better at anything in life. But uh, that means taking chances. Silverton, BC. Cheers, man. Cheers. Time to get chilly. We had a great swim and now we're gonna go to the Patty Shack. There was a burger there. Now we're at the hot springs. <laughs> Not bad at all. Loving it. <laughs> I think we'll just call it a wrap right there. This has been an amazing trip, five days. Thanks Matt, thanks Julie, thanks Sahana, Jessa, everybody that's come along for this. It's been amazing. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.